What's up, y'all? It's your boy Chris, aka Dead Boy Nell. Uh, I'm about to show y'all how to do automation in Pro Tools 12. Once again, it's in Pro Tools 12. Uh, if you think if you think I'm lying, or if you think I'm bull, BSing, Pro Tools 12 right on over there. Anyway, uh, Pro Tools 12. I'm working on a session right now. Um, this is me. This is me rapping, of course. Uh, and I'm also, uh, yeah, just rapping. I chopped the beat up, of course, as y'all can see. Uh, and we're about to, I'm about to show you how to uh, do uh, use automation the right way, at least. So the first thing you do, the first, the very, very first thing you do, as soon as you put that track on there, if you ain't made, if you ain't making one from scratch, you just put in, put in, uh, put in a wave file, or uh, you just didn't put in a wave file inside the session. Always go up here, click this. It's gonna look like that, alright? Uh, most of the time it's gonna look like, yeah, like that anyway. But yeah, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be turned on. Turn, or turned off. No, it turned on. Turn that off. And then tempo tap your, tempo tap to the, to the beat so everything can be on point. Alright, so after we do that, that's my tempo. I got it turned off anyway. Uh, so automation. So what I'm looking for in my automation, or what I'm trying to do in this automation, is uh, or how to use it. I'm just gonna do the auto wa the underwater effect. I know y'all hear a lot of from Drake or whatnot, but uh, I call it the underwater effect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the plugin comp straight on the track on the um, on the instrumental. In fact, let me let y'all hear it first, and I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna put it in. And this is Kate Camp's, Kate Camp's uh, track, Damn Right. I just did a remix to it. Uh, I can see the money and I'm going to put it like right up in there. Anyway, so I'm going to go in, go to multi channel plugin, go to modulation, and go to my vintage filter. And if y'all, unless y'all hear the vintage filter on it, uh, this pretty much already has its own underwater effect anyway. I'm gonna bypass and let y'all hear it too. So, that's how it sounds. And then this side. Alright, so what I'm, what I'm about to do with this is I'm about to put I'm about to, I just want to control this. This is my, this is what's making it, give it that sound. So, see. That's what I want. I just want to control it only. That's how you use automation. So, what I'm going to do, put this back on zero. Zero. Anyway, I'm about to change it anyway. So, I'm going to go to this button. This is the automation window. This is how you do your, use your automation. This is how you control everything on this thing by yourself. If you just want to just make it make it your own option or whatnot, I guess. Or make it your own automation button or whatnot. Click on it and said I wanted to use the, auto, the cutoff, which is this. I just want to control this. Notice, as soon as I, get, as soon as I click it, add it on over, you're going to see this 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 button this button light up this is this is how you know that you did right this is how you know that you got it you got it on control you don't the person that can control this right now so you can do this you go over to to your track right you can do it two different ways let me put this on jumbo you could do it where the automation is completely on on the wave file on the waveform which is you just go here you go to cut off and then it'll be right there. And then you can also do it like if you don't want to, if you just got a, you got a preference. Just go down there, you can do it like that. Same thing, pretty much. It's, it's pretty, it is the same thing, actually. Alright, so I'm going to do it on, I'm going to do 8. Because I want, want to have it like deep effect. And I said I'm going to put it, I'm going to do it from right here to right here. It's going to sound, it's going to be like a drop. So, I'll go ahead and get my little fingers. 
Uh, two bars. One. I'm doing one right there. One right there. One right there. And one right there. Oh, I got it. Anyway. I'm going to put that one right there, and I'm going to put that one right there. So I can control this one. Pull that one up. So as you can see, this one. While I'm doing this, this, this is moving too. So I'm controlling this through this. So this all the way up means there's nothing going in. So, I mean, a signal coming in into it, but... It ain't right. Um, and I'm gonna take get my hand again, all the way over to this track. Click on that. Boom. Raise this part up. Let me move this. I don't want to do it. Put that like up there somewhere. So now I just got these parts, which I wanted to start right here. So I'm just going to move this over there like that. Right there, right there, right there. Move that up right there, right there. Right there, right there. And so the automation begins. Take that lid down some more. Give it that deep on the water effect. Mm. Oh, my bad. I'm tripping. Same thing with that. Put that over there. Put this one over here. I'm going to say like that, right there, like that, like that. And. Move this one on up there. So I can scoot this over. Put that over there. I don't want it to be too fast though. I'm just gonna move this one. Nope, do it on right there. Alright, so the circle looks a little off, as y'all can see. But anyway, let y'all hear it. And that's how y'all use automation. And you can use automation on pretty much uh, on anything. Like, long as you, long as if that plug-in window, well, all the plug-in windows go have it. But if you want to just control any one of these other ones, like you can even do the master input, the master bypass, and I can control that too. And that the map, pretty much the master, the master bypass is. When I want to cut it off, cut it off. Of course, y'all should know that. And that's how you do it. Uh, you can do it on your, your, um, your aux tracks. You can do it on your master track. You can do it on, you know what I mean, on your compression. Whatever you want to put it on. But that's pretty much how you use it. Well, so, just taught you how to do automation. Make sure you check my, um, well, make sure you like, hit like on the YouTube page if you found if you found this information valuable for you. Uh, if you don't, if you didn't, I have some more stuff popping up too. You can post some, post some uh, comments down at the bottom, you know, let me know. Uh, and you can also, uh, oh, yeah, I mix and I master. I charge a fee for it. But, uh, your, your projects have to be professionally recorded. I don't, I don't, I don't do none of that vocal distortion and all that good stuff, so don't hit me with that. Please don't. And if you send me something that's and your vocals are distorted, I won't even touch the stuff. <coughs> uh, <coughs> so yeah, like I said, make sure you like my, my YouTube page, my uh, comment, share, you know what I'm saying, do whatever you want to do. Peace, I'm out. That boy now. I'll